Today we're headed out to Santa Monica to check out this crazy little lens called Fun Leader. And it totally lives up to its name. Now, if you're like my wife, you're probably sitting there going, is there even a lens on that camera? But there is. In fact, it's a full frame 18 millimeter F8 lens. Now I know F8, nothing to write home about, almost borderline cringeworthy. However, hear me out. You do not have to focus with this lens. In fact, you couldn't focus with it even if you wanted to because everything is already in focus. However, it is not an autofocus lens. It was literally designed to capture everything in focus focus from two and a half feet to infinity. And that was the most appealing thing to me, specifically for street photos. Now myself, I am very new to the whole art of street photography, but I am so obsessed with it. That was the whole reason for me purchasing the Sigma FP originally, because I just wanted a full frame camera to take advantage of my vintage lenses for street photos. The problem is with me, because I am so new to street photography, is that I'm still nervous to get super close to my subjects. So having a lens like the Fun Leader that is super ultra wide really forced me to get closer to the people I was taking photographs of. And having that constant F8 and not having to worry about focus at all just really made the entire day way more fun. It's pretty much zone focusing, but better because now there is zero chance of the focus barrel turning because there is no focus barrel. And when you combine the fun leader with the little Sigma FP, well, now you truly do have a pocketable cinema camera, but more importantly, a tiny discreet street photo camera. I mean, this thing just looks like a straight up point and shoot. And as you'll soon see with the vlog part of this video, you will see how I just straight up treated this thing like a point and shoot. However, it's gonna throw any point and shoot out of the water because the little FP has amazing 6K full frame raw 24 megapixels in stills mode. Now the fun leader has a really funky retro look right out of camera and I really dig that. And you guys are gonna see plenty of examples of what this little fun leader lens is capable of in today's video. The one thing that is kind of my only minor negative of this lens is the super heavy vignette. But again, that does kind of tie in with the whole vintage feel and you could always just crop in because it is so ultra wide or just try your best at dialing it back in the grade and still have a really unique image. Now, as far as video goes, I haven't really fully tested that out yet, except for a few quick shots like this weird one while I was driving. However, I do plan on throwing this little combo on my Ronin RS2 and going out there and getting some awesome skateboarding clips. So if you're new here, be sure you tap that subscribe button and the notification bell because you're not gonna wanna miss that one. Now, as soon as I got this fun leader lens, I immediately threw it on the FP, jumped in the car, headed over to downtown LA and picked up my good friend Shalabi Omar. And we headed out to the Santa Monica Pier to get some good old fashioned tourist street photos. Now, before we get to the vlog, I do want to give a disclaimer here. My buddy Shallaby is in no way a videographer. He doesn't come from the camera world like the rest of us. I just straight up threw the A7S III into his hands and away we went. So this video gets a little wild. There's times where it may get a little shaky. Maybe sometimes it goes out of focus, but kudos to Shallaby for being a team player. Him and I have been friends for a very long time, and I just hope you all are entertained as much as we were. So without further ado, let's hit the beach. Check, 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 one, two, one, two. Check, 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 one, two, one, two. <laughs> this is the fun leader. Does that look like a lens cap or what? Look how thin that is, bro. So from two and a half feet and beyond, everything is in focus. So let's go see what we can get. Here's the best part, bro. Pocky cam. Let's rock it. Can you go down that hill? I'm just gonna come out here and snag some pictures of some people while we're out here. See what we can get. See what we can get with the fun leader. See how much fun it really leads. about it is you know that f8 everything from two and a half feet to infinity is in focus so I don't really need to see the frame I guess if I didn't really want to I don't know I mean it just depends interesting the vignette's so heavy it's crazy 
It might have been too close to it, actually. I keep forgetting, you gotta be two and a half feet. It's basically the same as like a, a, your zone focus. As long as you keep everything at a two and a half feet distance, it's all gonna be in focus. Like you right here, right now. Boom, focus. <laughs> Wait, you, you don't get sunburned? Dude, I'm black. <laughs> black people don't get sunburned. He's asking if I get sunburned. <laughs> no, I do not get sunburned. You remember when MGK ate up Eminem? That's, that's, that's false heresy. <laughs> that's, uh, that's white boy culture. <laughs> only, only, only college white boys enjoy MGK. <laughs> that's funny. You're right, though. That's true. That's hashtag facts. Yeah. Going in stealth mode. Gotta meditate, bro. Heal the soul. One time I had to take a deuce. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Then uh, my homeboy was like, hey man, there's a toilet right here. I said, oh no. Oh no, I'm not gonna use one of these beach toilets. <laughs> oh, in there? Yeah. Oh, hell no. <laughs> you want a fresh track of monkey pox, it's right in that building over there. <laughs> white boys with locks. Try, try to be discreet about it. <laughs> Can't trust white boys with locks. <laughs> Can't trust white boys with locks. <laughs> Wonderful, this is beautiful right here, bro. This is beautiful right here. Beautiful. That was a beautiful one. Did you get that? <laughs> Look at this dude. Oh, this is gold right here. This is gold. You rolling? Yeah. You look good, man. You look good. I don't even know if I got one good picture in here, dude. <laughs> so is that a good thing or bad thing? I think that's a horrible thing. <laughs> How hot is it here right now? Let me check. Probably about 80. It's only 82 degrees here. <laughs> Dude, that's like a 20. Where I live, it's 108 degrees. Ew. All right, now you can see it. Can you see it now? Uh, barely. See this? Are you here? serious? Oh, here, let me help you out. And then tab it. Have you been getting anything in focus, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you see it? Can you see it now? Well, that's where we're going. It's, okay. That's where we're going. Let's rock. Which way is easier? This way. Look at this guy. He's giving me a push. I'm getting swole, dude. Hold up, hold up. I gotta get this shot right here. Hold up. Oh, yes. This is where we want to be, bro. This is where we want to be. A couple shots of that. Like this guy right here. Oh, yeah. What you see out there, dude? Got that shit. See people enjoying, enjoying life. Beautiful, man. Let's see when they come around this way. Damn, they're not gonna face this way. There we go. There we go. Damn, it doesn't spin this way. Not too bad, actually. Actually, not too bad. I sound like Kendrick when he's doing his women voice. Got it, that bitch is far away though. Lens is wild, dude. I feel like I feel like I frame better when I don't even look at it. I just fucking go like this. What do you think? Yeah, I like the one you took on my wheel. Funny. <laughs> of your wheel? Yeah. That might have been an accident. I don't know. That's what I mean. Like, I never know what I'm taking pictures of. I'm just like out there, just throwing my camera out. Like, 
putting all my faith and hope into the wrist. Yeah, it looked nice <laughs> on the computer. We'll see. Only time will tell. Right? <laughs> okay, so who is the fun leader for? For people that want to have fun on the street. This is the best thing for street photography if you are not skilled at street photography. You can literally just get the shot for you. If you can hold your camera steady like this and you just run it off of aperture priority mode, everything else is gonna adjust as long as your subject is at, is at least two and a half feet or more away from you, it's all gonna be in focus. It's all gonna be in focus. Uh, it's insane, it's a 100 degree angle of view. They cram six elements into this little tiny baby lens. I mean, just look at this thing, it's insane. It's insane what they did with this. Can you see that? It's gnarly, dude, right? It's working off of the zone focus. This is like the king of zone focusing right here. Right, that's all it is. With a zone focus, usually what you can do is like drop your manual lens at like an f/5.6 or an f/8, and put it to, you know, like most guys run it around that that distance actually around three to four feet, and they can run around. They just zone focus. Well, this you don't even have to worry about the lens moving around or anything. Like, it's always set. It's always set. Uh, I love it, man. I mean, this is perfect, especially when you pop this EV. The only reason I had the EVF off because I was like nervous. I just wanted to keep looking and seeing what the shot was, but it nailed it every time. The only time it messed up is when I was holding it messed up, right? Like you could just hold it straight. People don't even know you're looking at them. I was looking one way. I was looking one way, snapping the other way. H half the people didn't even know what was going on. And you're just getting so many rad ass photos out there on the boardwalk. I think it's great, especially if you're brand new to street photography, this is gonna just, cut away all those insecurities, the nervousness about all of it, and you just out there and it looks like a little point and shoot uh, camera. Now they have this for L mount, Sony E mount, Canon RF mount. Those are the top three that I know about, okay? So our tow man just pulled up and I think it's time to ride. You ready, Omar? Yeah, ready. <laughs> all right, let's rock. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's kind of a new kind of video for me. I really do plan on doing more videos like that when I'm, you know, testing lenses in particular because uh, it's it's pretty awesome. Uh, anyways, thanks to Shallowby anyways for hanging out with me for the day. And um, yeah, if you guys are interested in the Fun Leader, you can get this thing for only 125 bucks. Now that's with tax and shipping. I mean, that is so cheap. You're crazy not to get it, right? It's just a fun little quirky lens. And it really did help elevate my street photography. I want to give a shout out to the Dog Times Patreon. They are the number one supporters of the channel. Huge thank you to the producers of the Patreons tier. That's Mike Skinner, Fred Parr, and David Carroll. Also, we have a little YouTube membership kicking here and shout out to our one pro tip member, Visit VR. So be sure you check out his channel, their channel. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. And yes, you did hear it right. I do have the Sony a7S III. Don't get it twisted. I literally just bought that to make my life easier in my YouTube and Patreon world. I just was super jealous of autofocus. I can't believe I slept on autofocus for five years, but it is what it is. Now I have it. And also, you know, it's kind of a nice thing now for all those clients that can't afford the uh, first AC. Well, they don't get the red Komodo. Now they get the Sony a7S III for my video package, right? Just opened up new doors, but it was really just for the YouTube. But don't worry, we are going to be doing some videos of that. I have a really extensive video where I have been testing the limits of the Sigma FP sensor, and I am gonna be comparing it to the red Komodo and now also the Sony a7S III. We're gonna be doing some low light a7S III versus the FP, okay? So be sure you're uh, dialed in with all of that. You have to tap the notification bell because YouTube is trying to bury small channels channels like mine, right? I only have 24,000 subscribers. I'm super grateful for all 24,000 of you. However, uh, to keep me going and to keep this channel growing, we have to keep me in the YouTube devil algorithm, okay? So help a brother out, tap the subscribe button, tap the like button, share it around with some friends, whatever, put it on Instagram, whatever you have to do, but be sure you do tap that notification bell because that really does help push my videos in your feed. People hit me up and go, dude, I thought you stopped making videos. Well, YouTube is trying to bury the little guys, all right? <laughs> okay, damn the man. We will see you in the next one. That's a big fat rap. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so it's too hot to be. Like it's crazy, man. It's so wild right now. Oh my god. Okay.
Hey, much. this is too much Florida. <laughs> hey, damn, what's Florida doing in Venice? <laughs> they got basalts here? 